If you are close, your eyes will see this. this. Closer, closer. You are just one step from entering another dimension. Dimension. Join us in the journey of a deep state of mind. Learn what love is. Experience adrenaline. Get to know what a higher state of human consciousness is. Please welcome the Wild Wild West. Wait till the camera gets. Okay, sorry, sorry. (laughs) Hi, we're here with Tom Segura. Hello. Nice. Welcome. Thank thank you. you. Welcome to the podcast. Thank you for having me. We were just uh, (laughs) we were just recapping the beer Olympics, which. I thought it was going to be fun. Yeah, I was invited to that. I couldn't you, make it. You dodged a bullet. <laughs> <laughs> that shit sucked. Yeah. I think I'm going to see those guys tomorrow. Yeah. No, they're the best guys. Yeah. It, but, man, if you get that many football guys together, it gets... It's... Yeah. It yeah. got so fucking competitive. You need them to do it with themselves. It's like trans athletes. You was, guys do your own yeah, fucking yeah, thing yeah. and leave us <laughs> out of this. Bert, it's not fun Bert anymore. Were two women... <laughs> We're good in the women's league. Yeah, exactly. Me and Bert, everyone's like, Shane and Bert are going to win. Not Nowhere near. No. Flip, what, were the, what were the things? It flip like cup. like beer pong, flip cup, beer ball, which you just throw a ping pong ball at a beer can. Okay. And you got to, that's that was me and Bert's worst because you have to scramble to pick the ball up. Oh, what? shit. Me and Bert can't bend down. <laughs> And the other dudes, the other dudes were so fast and trying so hard. That's like, the thing. They shoving don't, dudes out of the way, diving on the ball. Do like, casual. No. When it comes to like a, co- a competition. Yeah, yeah. You know, if it's lounging, it's like you're hanging out. You're like, this guy's a regular guy. Yeah. And then it's like, who's who do you think is the best at this? And that uh, just asking that question alone yeah. changes everything. And that, uh, oh, the chug, I blew it. I lit, so the opening, the opening event was chug a, a liter. So I think that's like three beers. Yeah. And I was like, this is the one thing me and Bert have a shot at. Yeah. Uh, I tried to chug as fast as I could. It just went straight up my nose. <laughs> I was like, I have to stop. I was such a bitch, dude. dude I it, was a bitch. Was it a bubbly carbonated? Day. Was it carbonated? Uh, I mean, yeah. It was, Getting it up your nose is no fucking joke. No, dude. and I let's tried be, to power through serious. it. And I stopped. And I was like, you're wearing my nose. <laughs> Bubbles in your nose is nothing. It was, to uh, nothing to sneeze at. It was it was so embarrassing. <laughs> I was just a fat bitch all day. <laughs> then I'm so glad I didn't go. Yeah, you, you dodged it, dude. Although you, I was also bringing a lot of it on myself. Talking I was, a lot of shit. I was chirping. You yeah, should have yeah. called the cops because I was trying. Yeah, I, I threatened. <laughs> I threatened all the tricks, dude. I said, if you t- if you put your hands on me, I'm shitting in your pool, dude. Don't come. I said, I have a gun in my car. I'm gonna kill everyone. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> I have an AR-15. I'm going to shoot everyone in here if you keep bullying me. What is the uh, so wait? What's the pro, what's the pro lineup there? It's got uh, uh, who was in? Who yeah, was like in who it? was in it? Um, so the winners was George Kittle and DeForest Buckner. Oh Jesus Christ! DeForest Buckner is a freak, dude. You yeah. see that guy? You're like, holy fuck! <laughs> yeah, the these debate, guys are all retired. No, what? No, they're like pro bowlers. And they're getting played. Yes. And they're getting hammered too. Yeah. I, yeah. They got yeah. shit face. Yeah. So it's like, yeah. so it's like not only that, that level of athleticism, but they're also fueled. They're fired up. Yeah. They're fired and, the fuck up. And then, so like I, you guys know me. If somebody says something mean to me, I try to say the meanest thing possible. Yeah. yeah. And uh, if you do that to those guys, it's a, they will resort to violence. Really? <laughs> Quickly, yeah. They will immediately go to violence. Yeah. And then you're just, you're How were they tempering it? Was it like, just like headlocks and like. Taylor gave me 10 different headlocks. He made me tap 10 times. And I was like, dude, I'm going to tap every time. Stop yeah. doing it. And sometimes he wouldn't listen to the tap. I'd be like, dude, for real this time. <laughs> oh. And you're a big dude, which just. Not goes- even, I mean, I was, I was a. Baby no, but boy, I mean, it just dude. goes to like <laughs> about like how what other level yeah. these fucking yeah. freaks are. I suplexed him. 
Yeah. They I hope they got that on them? camera. I was I got them a couple times in there. <laughs> there you go. I was holding them underwater at one point. <laughs> you know me in the water, dude. I, True. I said, come down to the deep end, you are dude. A creature a little hippo in there, dude. You're a creature. <laughs> so Kittle. <laughs> Kittle and Buckner at one. And who else is there? Uh, it was Will, Will and Taylor. Yeah. Uh, the guy that really did the most physical damage to me was a guy named James Neal. He was a, he's a retired NHL player. Uh, oh, uh, Nasty. And he, I thought he was joking. We were playing pool basketball, so we were shoving off yeah. the ball, pushing yeah. kind of as hard as we could. Mm -hmm. I thought he was joking. At one point, while I thought we were joking, he grabbed me by the throat and held me down. What the <laughs> fuck? I was like, dude, <laughs> I thought we were joking. <laughs> And he was like, my bad, my bad on that one. <laughs> I was like, holy <laughs> shit. Yeah. Damn, uh, dude. You're describing a scenario in which everybody then goes, where's Tom? Because I would have fucking laughed. <laughs> like, I would have been like, fuck <laughs> this. Yeah, Bert, Bert was on, Bert was backing off threes, a little. Right? Yeah. Could you goaltend? He did not play pool basketball. Pool basketball wasn't the event. We were okay. just playing. Oh, That's just a serious plan. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I could see Bert being like, I really didn't like when you choked me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I didn't like that. I didn't like when you shoved me. Also, I me underwater <laughs> getting shoved. Is, getting shoved, dude. Don't it was, shove me by professional shovers too. Like, yeah, yeah, true. A guy true. that literally one of the best. Taylor Lewan's one of the greatest shovers. Yeah. of all time. And he's shoving you. He was shoving the fuck out of me, dude. It hurts so bad. Oh. I have cuts all over my back from the wall. Oh, getting the pushed wall is against the, worst, the concrete dude. wall. He basically, this is an advertisement to like, hey, don't invite anybody who's Never. not one of you, yeah. like, to that thing ever again. <laughs> Yep. It's a great and, uh, You go up to dunk and pull basketball and your older cousin just shoves you into the wall. God like, punched dude, me I directly. In the, I went up for a dunk and a dude tried to swat it and just fucking hit me straight in the face. Oh, Jesus. Yeah. I called this, a foul. This basically, you yeah. said, you dude, that's a there's got to be one foul here because I just got punched in the face. <laughs> this is uh, what it really sounds like is like a bunch of a group of big brothers. We're like, let's all invite our little brothers over yeah. and fuck them up for a day. That's this yeah. was the first experience of mine where I was the little brother because I was I was always big. Yeah. So I was never the little brother that you could do wrestling moves to. Yeah. This was the first oh, time guys were strong enough to just fucking ragdoll me. for. But I was hammered. Right. So was, nothing hurt. Yeah, nothing oh. hurt until the next day, and I was like, "Oh my god!" <laughs> Covered in bruises. It's a core uh, part of my identity, being like a suplexable little brother. Yeah, that's all I knew growing up. Just getting <laughs> beat getting up. Suplexed. I got beat up the entire time. Yeah. Older cousins and brothers. Yeah, and you got you got big fucking cousins and big brothers. Bros, yeah. yeah. I never yeah. got that. I had sisters. I was just beating women. Like, as, yeah. like my that's kind of nice. It I, is fun. I had sisters too. Fifth yeah. grade is when it, things turned around in the house. <laughs> yeah, that's when I started dishing out. Yeah, <laughs> that's yeah. when it was wrestling. And then I was big into wrestling at the time, so I was like, all yeah. right, I can do moves. Did you ever British so bulldog both older. of them at once? <laughs> they were in like they're like seniors in high school, <laughs> and you're like holding they had to them come down. home and a fifth grade boy was like, come here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Did you ever beat them up in front of their friends? Yeah. So friends would definitely that would but turn their on. friends would beat me up too. Well, I when mean, I was a young man, you're letting them, dude. You're playing. <laughs> they used to hold me down. This was one move this lady used to do was hold me down, put my foot. I'd be flat on my back and tuck my foot into the back of my underwear. <laughs> Like Whoa! That, so you can't get it out. You just have to ro roll around like a little pig you on the were ground. Showing how, you, were so showing, embarrassing. you were showing her how flexible oh, you were. I was dude. so hard, dude. <laughs> oh, I forgot about that. That's a nice memory. Did you ever have? She had older sisters. Yeah. Did you ever have a, a sister's boyfriend punk you out, or like try to hurt you? I did. No. Uh, I had one time where, you know, I was always kind of a smartass. Yeah. I guess so. This guy comes over and i was like oh so you know i forget what i say to him but i'm just like it's not like really mean but i think he was just kind of a dummy so when i'm like oh yeah how's uh how's the season going you guys doing all right and he was I'm, so I'm, he's, oh, he's thinking, an athlete he's an athlete he's thinking that i'm i guess like i i'm either mocking him or yeah. talking to him like an older ma man would yeah. And he was like, he just kind of looked clean. You're cleaning the gun the whole time. And uh, the, yeah. The and Nerf then gun. They, nobody else. <laughs> Sorry. Was, <laughs> Sorry. That's for, that's for me plopping, <laughs> plopping on the couch. The couch is against the wall. It's usually. <laughs> but everyone is out of the room. Like, they, it was, so it was just me and him for a second. And then he just, he was like, he just looked at me and just real quick, just punched me in the stomach. <laughs> oh, shit. Yeah. Yeah. What yeah. a beast. Yeah. Dude. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> I fucking fuck? cried. Yeah. I cried. I was like, <laughs> <laughs> and I just, Wait, I just so were, you, were you nicely being like, how's your season going? Or were you? Yeah, he, he was just taking it. I, I get it in a, in, a, in a sense that that he was like, why is this kid that's like a couple years younger than me being like, because I was yeah. like, how, and I kind of like, I sat like on the arm of the couch. <laughs> I, was like, oh, yeah, yeah. I was like, how's it going, man? Yeah. Like, and I think he was like, how you doing, champ? I think he was like, he was wait, he's, he was thinking I was setting it up. Yeah. I don't think I'd said something particularly, Damn. but he, he he thought I was like, and he, everything going all right there in class went, yeah. and then he just went like bat like that and i was like, <laughs> 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 like like that i fucking cried dude i went in the other room and cried like so he couldn't see me yeah. cry but i totally cried yeah fuck yeah someone came out to date one of my older cousins and we were like i grew up next door to my cousins so there's 10 of them and six of us so this guy pulled up to like take one of my older cousins out and it was just a bunch of little kids and we like found his keys he left them in his car and we just hit them from him yeah. for like hours <laughs> And this guy was trying to take our cousin out. And he couldn't. He was fucking nice. furious. Yeah. We're finally like, yo, here you go, dude. Here we're fucking go. with you. And he's like, what the fuck? Yeah, yeah you <laughs> guys are the funny. fucking, you get the Whitakers. You get the Whitakers. It, it, it was Lord of the <laughs> Flies. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, which one of you took my keys? <laughs> Obviously, it was one of you. <laughs> Donna <Moose. laughs> Just running around. That would destroy you internally yeah yeah as, as your keys are fucking like and there's oh, so up, embarrassing keys are gone. you gotta <laughs> check the couch at a stranger's house and then everyone's just like what are you fucking like, sit down you don't yeah. know where your keys are for five minutes <laughs> yeah we snatched them like, yeah, fuck the, this guy who's this guy fuck this guy the pool basketball was a uh, mistake yeah. overall fun trip yeah yeah and here's where things went south i was a little drunk obviously from the beer olympics not that bad. Mm -hmm. I took ketamine. Oh, but you did. I didn't know yeah. that part. Oh, wow. At, at the, the Olympics. At the end. Okay. After the after the thing on the way. Such we went a to, sick move. It was, it was just somebody cool was doing it. So I was like, I want to be I'll cool. Yeah. yeah. We were driving over. I was like, I'll do some cool stuff too. <laughs> and uh, I've never been in it. I've never done ketamine. What was it like? It. I did too much. Oh, you're in the hole. I literally, I got out of the car held onto a truck i got out of the truck and just held onto the side and i was like i'm going home i'm not going into the party i have to go home i can't walk and people it was at zany's so like were you drinking and doing ketamine i was drinking yeah and then i took the i mean i stopped drinking as soon as that happened True, yeah and then it was at zany's in nashville so a bunch of like comedians the owner was there all this these, is just a party an after party yeah and all these comedians like shane hey what's up and i was like hey how are you guys? And like people were like, "Oh my god, yeah. like this guy's got a real problem." Like, I'm on ketamine. I took ketamine. Everyone was like, "Ew." I was like, All right, well, I'm gonna go home. Is what's it, is it a comparable high to anything? Like, is no, it, I don't. No. I don't. It's like a disassociative. Yeah, so it's, like it makes you leave your body. Yeah. I did it. I did it once, like a little bit. So it wasn't. It was like just great. Yeah. And then that was. I did a lot. I can't get high in any social setting though. I, I can't and enjoy either. myself. But then I went home. And when I got thrown in the pool, my wallet was lost. So I didn't have my room key or my ID no. to get into the hotel. So I'd sit in the lobby until Bert got back because they had it. What? So you lost I'm just it? sitting there. I can't move. I was just sitting in a chair in a hotel lobby. And then uh, they came back and I was like, guys, I can't. I'm fucked. I can't walk. I did drugs, dude. I did <laughs> fucking drugs. My brain's a scrambled egg right and now. And then uh, I was like, I don't think I can walk. And they were like yeah you can just walk over that wall and walk back i was like there's no way my legs work everything works fine yeah yeah yeah. you're just in your own head you're like i can't move my arms They're like yeah. yeah you can't you're moving your arms and then uh we sat there for a while i just drank water for like an hour it wears off yeah it's 40 isn't it like 45 I it wears off it. and you're fine i heard it's short yeah so i sat there and then sobered up and i was like what the fuck was that why would i do that but, <laughs> that was insane but now that you've had that would you would you I'll do never it? do that again no because even being aware you think it'd be enjoyable if you were aware that you're not unable to walk you know no, I, mean? I don't i mean i guess people do it and they're used to it and they really enjoy it yeah but well, my not, brother has these lozenges you just eat them and yeah. you just lay down with a blanket and you just you leave your body for 45 minutes and you just come right back into it he if i was taking a nap cool. yeah that's yeah that would have been great it's like a super nap but you, at a party no do you smoke weed yeah regular like yeah and you no no can I've you cut handle, back, i've cut back though, i can't handle sure. weed can you 
Like, can you handle edibles and shit too, or no? Mm-hmm. You can. Yeah, Matt can handle. Like, yeah. <laughs> Matt can handle weed. I can drive on them. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like because like, everybody. Because <laughs> yeah. I've had this thing where, like, I know that like regular smoke like, people who smoke a lot. Then it's not always this way, but some of them have an incredible tolerance for edibles. Like you know Ryan Sickler, mm-hmm. you know Sickler. Yeah. He can. He can just munch them. Not just like yeah. oh a hundred. He can he can eat like. 600 milligrams like he can yeah do, i can't do that i'll freak out I, I don't need much i'll freak yeah. out even diaz like diaz was like yeah. there's no way that uh ryan can handle a star of death and ryan was like give it to me he ate the whole thing it's like 600 milligrams yeah he was that'll, like, f- that'll fuck me up he was fine i'll but be I, high for like two days but I, you can probably like 20 and 50 do nothing to you 50, no they fuck me up oh, they fuck I'm you losing up. my mind i'll take 10 oh. milligrams and i'm losing you're my just, mind oh you just at, can function on it i'll just you're yeah, good at i got you. internalizing the freak out yeah exactly the second i take it i'm just telling everyone i'm like oh i'm i'm done no i'll be like go I'm around getting telling to the next everyone. level of my consciousness yeah, yeah. i'll be driving I'm like, wow, such a hard turn to make on this road <laughs> <laughs> nice turn lancaster avenue is poorly designed i can't believe that can you do stand-up high no i'm terrible i've I'll forget what I'm doing. So I'll like, I'll get a joke. I'll get a laugh and I'll just go, all right, what am I up to now? And I'll go, oh no. Yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah. For me, I, I want it so it. badly to be able to do it high. I can't. Me too. And I, one of the hardest I ever bombed was on the road with Rogan. And he likes to, like, he likes to fuck. Yeah. Him. Like really pull like from a massive fucking, and like a joint that is mm. laced. He's just like, <laughs> he's like, here you go. And he's like, do it. And I was like, I was opening for him. I was like, cool. All right. And then I was like, I'm so fucking high. Yeah. And then he goes, you go out there for like, you go. Cause I was like, it was God like damn it. I was like, <laughs> and I walked out there at the Colum- It was the Columbus funny bone. And they happen as everybody. When you, when you do those clubs, you're actually like begging for this guy, Dave Stroop to see you perform mm. because he books all of them. Yeah. All, and he owns like, <clears throat> so they're like Stroops here. Uh, and I was like, cool. Great. And <laughs> I go out there and I remember that like the first thing I said, I was like, uh, I said something like, you know, they introduced me and it was like a, it was, it was packed, mm-hmm. but it was like a mediocre reception. I was like, what is this fucking like Ann Arbor? Like trying to be like, <laughs> oh, that's boo. Yeah. If you and, bring up Ann Arbor and, and they Columbus. were like super flat. And I was like, I'm I'm about to bomb. Like oh, I'm, yeah. I was, no. And I bombed so hard that when I got off, it was even worse. I got off and I take the corner into like the yeah. back room. And the first person I see is Stroop. <laughs> and he goes, what happened out there? Oh, I was like, oh, shit. I was oh, like, hi. I go, they're fucking, I don't know. It's just one of those. Club sucks. Uh, Fuck you. <laughs> yeah. It's fucking terrible here, man. Fucking chill. It sucks. God damn. And, man, I just, I ate, and I was like, I go, I can't just like, I can't just stand up high. And then, you know, Joe's high. He's like, that was cool, right? And I was like, nah. He's like, yeah, it's good. I was like, Mm-mm. yeah. And then. <laughs> I did another one high, but also with him being like, here you go. Just take it. Yeah. And you're like, all right. And I, that one was, it was, the set was fine, but internally yeah. it wasn't. Cause like you hear like, like a hand slap and you're like, what's up with that? <laughs> you know, that's, I was like, what is that? And like, he's like, it's people clapping. I was like, oh, I don't like that. Yeah. Like, I was, Why do we even do that? Dude. I, yeah. I don't know. I just, I can't do it high, dude. No. I don't like to even have, but I don't like to have a drink either. I like a drink after a set. Yeah. I don't like it before. I can have one. If I have two, I start getting like asshole drunk confidence where I'm like, <laughs> and I'm like, I second guess things. What I do mm-hmm. is I get off stage and I go, did I word that funny? And I, or like, even when mm-hmm. I'm up there, I'm like, I, I feel like I would have said this more clearly if I wasn't. Yeah. But you can do that. I can drink and do stand up. Yeah. 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 Found out. I taped a special this weekend and oh you ter- did turns out alcohol might help really <laughs> yeah the first show i was like i gotta go into this sharp sober yeah. average average show in between sets i was like i'm gonna kill give me those beers Dude, yeah you didn't really drink that much though did you have no beers? not like a lot but like you know four yeah. or five grease the wheels yeah you had four or five before the second show yeah oh dude that's 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 not not a lot like that's, <laughs> that's not a lot that's not chilling <laughs> like, four or five bud lights four or five the, the, the course of 
two hours. Yeah. Okay. That's nothing. But most like, but yeah, this is a different thing. Like you are coming to the realization that this is fuel for you. Like this, this helps. I did it. Uh, most so, people would be like, oh, you're doing five beers before your second yeah, taping. Yeah, yeah. So you want to sabotage. Yeah. Yourself. Dude, I, yeah. I can't, I can have one drink. This, I, it does loosen you up. I, I love, tried. And it was well, awesome. We talked about it before. I tried, I did a weekend in Tacoma and I was like, I'm just, I got to not drink. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I was like, I had zero alcohol the whole weekend. And every single show, I was like, this sucks. I suck. And then the Saturday late show, I was like, I'm going to have a couple beers before. This. And I just destroyed it. What do you like, think it is? Fuck. What do you think it is? <laughs> Did that just put you in a different headspace? Yeah, I think so. Just more relaxed. More, yeah. Yeah. And what, uh, so it was awesome. I mean, second? I could probably get used to not drinking. Right. Yeah, you do. You do yeah. get used to it. I prefer it now. So I am yeah. a little bit sharper, but now it's like, if I do have one drink, I do relax a little. It's like a, yeah. I save it for the very last show of the weekend. I'll have a drink while I'm on stage. And it's like, because if I have a drink and I have not a good set, I just turn on myself. I'm like, dude, yeah. drunk. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you drunk. <laughs> you drunk. I drink like six drinks a month. You fucking drunk you piece like of you're shit. You're a piece of shit. <laughs> yeah. I'm a loser. Wait, yeah. So the second one went great. Yeah. Where did you tape? At Tyson's Hall, or no, Tyson's Virginia, Tyson, yeah. Capital One Hall. It's a new theater there. Nice. It's very nice. That was the, the set, though. It was on, that was yeah. undeniable. Also, it was, it was less the alcohol, more, I've never taped a special. Yeah. So that having a fucking camera floating around. Yeah. The first show, I was like, I was, I'll just stare. I'd tell a joke and be like, <laughs> just straight you're just into a camera. It. Yeah. I was like, you got to see that. <laughs> but you're super happy now with the second one. Uh, I'm happy with it. But yeah. then I, I don't watch myself do stand up. Yeah. So then I watch it. I'm getting clips and shit. I'm like, Jesus fucking Christ. Really? Yeah. Dude, I mean, it looks I can't great. get enough of myself. Saying, I really? watch it. I'm like, man, you're Are you great. serious? I don't you're, know why. I know. He Something was, flipped. Something flipped. He was showing me, me. Yeah. You were showing I'm me like, clips. I love it. Yeah. You were showing me clips of your shit. And I was like, he was watching it like, <laughs> I, was like I was like, dude, I'm really? sick. If I don't I know what's wrong myself. I'm like, <laughs> that's been a recent development. Now I'm kind of like, yeah. that looks great. It does that's, look great. It's weird. It does look great. I I, I swear to God, I yeah. want to be like, ah, oh, fucking sucks. But I'm watching. I'm like, it's yeah, so dude, funny. Is, I forgot I did that. <laughs> this guy's so good. Who the fuck is this? <laughs> it's gross, dude. I wouldn't yeah. watch. I wouldn't watch the line cut. Yeah, for months, and then they go, you have to give us notes. Yeah. Like, yeah. We have to get the, and then I sent in one set of notes and then they give you the second cut and they're like, we need this one and scrap it. Yeah. Like, and how do you like it now? <laughs> yeah. I was like, I go, they go, have you watched it? And I was like, no, I don't want to watch it. Yeah. And they're like, well, they go, we're going to actually like miss the release date if we don't turn this in in like a week. <sighs> and so I, I like, I wish I shot in November, dude. And I was giving, oh geez, I was giving notes in like late May to get this thing ready. Yeah. For <laughs> July. Like, and they were like, yeah. "Come on!" And I was like, in the mirror. I was like, "I don't want to watch this." Yeah, uh, yeah. yeah. It does suck. I, there's parts of it where I, you start going like, "I did it," because I always be like, "Ah, I shouldn't have filmed this. I'm a fucking idiot." And then like, I'll have that, and I'll be like, "It gets better towards the middle." <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Tough start. Did you shoot yours recently too? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Where did yeah. you shoot yours? Helium, Philly. Oh, that's a great one. Yeah, it's fun. He, yeah. It, the first I filmed a YouTube special and I watched it. <clears throat> that first, was great. I watched dude. it. Oh, thank you. That's great. I watched yeah. it by myself, and I was like, "This is a fucking disaster." <laughs> really? Like, this is the dumbest piece of shit. I look terrible. This is terrible. It's so good, though. And then I watched it with someone else, and they laughed. Yeah. While they were laughing, I was like, "Yeah, it's I, good." I fucking played it for Lemare and No on the way home. They didn't fucking even. They didn't even laugh. <laughs> they didn't pause I was like, "Hey guys, <laughs> yo, I'm gonna rewind that part. That was actually good." Guys, did you guys. hear that part? Did you get the nuance? <laughs> I wasn't, I wasn't listening. <laughs> well, that's yeah. You can't put it on with those two. Matt, no, uh, I was. Tom, didn't you film your special in Philly Helium too? No, uh, the no. The cornrows one. Which one? White girls with cornrows. Oh, fuck! Where did I? No, I recorded. <laughs> that's funny reference. Sorry, I recorded that <laughs> yeah. in. Uh... They have it up at Helium. That's why I asked. Oh, that's right. Okay, yeah. They keep they they ask for albums from from people who play the club. I recorded yeah. I recorded it in. Uh, in Denver. I remember that. I recorded at in Denver. Comedy Works? At the South Club. And the oh. reason I did it at the South Club because they wouldn't give me a week downtown. Oh. Really? Yeah, I had done it already. So yeah. I was like, oh, can I come back and do another? I was like, it's it's the yeah, magic yeah, yeah. room. And they were like, no. <laughs> you can do it at the other club. Because I couldn't. Yeah. I just couldn't get the booking, you know? Yeah, no one gives a fuck when you're trying to film a special. Well, yeah. it was... I was thing, trying so hard. I was like, where? They don't care if you're not... I wasn't a big ticket seller yeah. when I did it. So they were like... No. 
Yeah. And then as soon as you sell tickets, they're like, oh, yeah, we can make. We yeah, can, we'll bump everybody. We'll, yeah, we'll just yeah. cancel people. Yeah. And you're like, oh, that's how this works. Okay. <laughs> yeah. yeah. They offered me that this time. And I was like, no, I'm not. Yeah. yeah. I have a tour. Just pick one of these. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. But the, Funny yeah, the first works. time I was trying, I was trying very hard to get a place. And everyone was like, you can do a Wednesday yeah. here. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. Like, I no. No, I need, the, I need <laughs> yeah. an audience. Yeah. Yeah, Creek anyway. was a nice Creek was a nice spot for it. Though. Creek was great. I was yeah. I was happy with that. Yeah, yeah, that special is so good, man. Thanks. I was just talking about how like you can tell when you watch. I think uh, every time I watch specials, and like I first of all finish it. Yeah. Or I think I even at the fifteen minute mark, like I remember watching first time I watched Bert's first special, the Secret Time one. Yeah. I call it because they gave me an advance screening on because I was going to do a podcast. I go, you sent it to me, and Netflix sent it to me. I was like, you're definitely going to do theaters next. He was like, really? I go, absolutely. Because yeah. it, was, it was really good. Nate Bargatze's first one, I paused it and I, te- I go, you clear your schedule. Like, yeah. this is really, really good. And I thought yours was like that too. That was you. really, and, and, it, and it did have that effect. Yeah. Like, it's totally changed your touring life. Um, let's change to you. Oh, okay. Instead of, I will say I did watch. I never watched specials, and I was yeah. like, let me see what they're like. And I was watching yours. And I'm like, God, this was fucking good. I was like, turn it back on, like watching it now. And I was like, Jesus Christ. I watched. Uh, I watched Sledgehammer last night. Oh, thanks. And it was. I don't watch specials, mm. or I do, but I turn. You know, you turn you them turn off. Turn them off. Yeah. Turn them off. Yeah. I was laying right there. I haven't laughed out loud at a special in a very i was by myself at like midnight <laughs> laying right here like ah! <laughs> 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 the the closer made me oh thanks i was man. dying dude thank you thank you yeah that was that was really fucking good man it is the best to hear i mean people can tell you that they like it but when other comics tell you they like it yeah. there's no comparison yeah. it is the best yeah it's a nice feeling and yeah. uh and the round filming it there it was yeah it was cool. I thought it looked awesome. It, I thought, dude, it, I deserve no credit. But when I I did want to do it in the round because I was I was like, it's a fun different thing. I yeah. done I done the round in a couple arenas, and then there's only a couple theaters left that yeah. have the round. One's in Long Island. Yeah, I forget the name of that one. Um, it's a it's an old theater, and it's the Paramount. Yeah. I think it's Maybe. the Paramount. Paramount, I didn't do it. It's in the round. How and do you so, do it? You just slowly rotate? Like- dude, I did the I did that theater with Bert. The celebrity? Yes. Yeah. And I first I never did a round. Yeah. I stood still <laughs> and rotated. It's very common. And my feet <laughs> the cord was around my feet at yeah. one point. Yeah. I was doing a 15 minute set. Yeah. And I got in a circle. <laughs> yeah. And then Half half my act is most of it's dumb facial expression. It's like yeah. a slow dance. Dude. So you make a facial expression and only a third of the room sees it. Yeah. And then I turn around. I turn around and be like, you give it to the- <laughs> do, do it to the other yeah. side. Oh, okay, just to show yeah. you guys what you missed. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I did not like it. I was not used to it. But yeah. it's so, it's so cool. Looking. It is. It fucking. They did a killer job of of the set. Oh, I thought yeah. it was actually that. Like when I went out for the because you arrive early on on yeah. tapings. I walked into that room and I was like, "Holy shit!" And they go, "Oh, this isn't even like done." They're yeah. like, "Kill the." And they showed me. I was like, "This is the yeah, coolest the looking." Coming down was, it was cool. It was fucking yeah. rad. Tight. Yeah, it looks cool, man. It yeah. looks really good. Um, yeah, they killed it. That's the John Irwin produced it. He's the he's the fucking man. So he. Yeah. He made it look good, and um, I taped four. Really, I taped four, and I'd never done that. And everybody I who had done it was like, "You got to do it. You got to do it." And you know, your experience is what I've always experienced in tapings, which is like you do show one, and you're like, "All right, like we got one," mm-hmm. but like show t- and show yeah. two is always what I use. We tape four fucking shows. And we use show one. My man did I six. Psychoed out. Yeah. My man did six. I, just, I was like, my man spazzed and did six. I had the whole six? weekend. I had six shows, so I was like, just film all of them. Wow. <laughs> just in case, if Wait, I what miss you, one, I'll be pissed. Are you? Have you gotten to the edit yet? Are you ready? Yeah, we did. We ended up using mostly two of them. Yeah. So. Dude, I used show one. I've never done that before. And I really? used the whole. The, that's it. That's kind of tight. The oh, Austin four. one, I did show one. Yeah. But I had done. I did Friday. I was trying to film four. And the, they just fucked up Friday. Yeah. And then no one told me because they didn't want me to be upset when I went on stage. Yeah. So I got done. I was like, killed it. Oh. I was like, that was it. And they were like, we didn't have audio. <laughs> I was like, wait, what? They're like, So we got crowd reactions that those are going to be good. So I was right. like, oh, well, that's wonderful. <laughs> so now I have I two shows. Yeah. We had kind of a similar thing where 
they didn't want to tell me this and I, I could tell by the way they were talking. So like show one is it's, it's the one you saw and like the yeah. crowd, it, like, you know, I care about obviously the performance, but like the energy of the, like mm -hmm. sure. you want to put one out that's like energetic and hot. Yeah. So it's like a bonkers crowd. Yeah. Right. They're really hot. Mm -hmm. So I'm in love with it. I do show two on Friday and I was like, that's, a, you know, that's all right. Definitely show one. And they're like, all right, Saturday comes and the show is like, it's a good performance, but it's a little less energy. And I'm like, well, hey, we're still on show one. And they're like, uh-uh. People start to tell me, they're like, no, no, this one. And I'm like, what? Yeah. They're like that. You were amazing in that. And I was like, what are you talking about? Yeah. I'm like, well, this feels weird that you're saying this. Yeah. Because, why are because, you saying this? Yeah. I'm like, yeah. What's the real? Why are you saying this? Then I do the fourth show and they're like, actually that one. And I'm like, wait, 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 what? <laughs> and then I, I've, I realized that show one, they had a little bit different lighting scheme. It wasn't as dark. Oh. So they, the producers and like the, the crew, they prefer night two because it's clean. Like it's more cinematic looking. Yeah, yeah. They had a little bit of like fog in the air yeah, in show one and they cut that. And I was like, okay. And then they go, we didn't, first of all, they're like, there's more people moving. Like there's people getting yeah. up in show one and they, and on the rest of the shows, they tell them don't yeah. move. So like that's a distraction. I go, I don't give a fuck yeah. Yeah. about any of that. I go, I don't care if it's brighter and there's people moving. I go, the show is better. That's the special. Yeah, usually. And they did not want me to do it. They wanted me to use mm. these other shows, but I was like, you can't let that shit dictate what you yeah. pick. Yeah. You know? I was distracted. You were? No. Yeah. <laughs> no. no, people no, have told once. me. Some people have messaged me. They're like, what's up with all the people moving? I'm like, I don't fucking know. Really? Yes. Yes. Yeah, I have people walking in front of the camera and shit. It's like, <laughs> yeah. Mine was more of a learning experience than anything yeah. else. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. I'm like, oh, now I know how you do them. I didn't know. Yeah, yeah it is a weird thing. It's crazy. Yeah. It's the most uncomfortable feeling. Yeah. Yeah. Well, luckily, I heard I could kind of like you explain me your whole thing where you watched it yourself and we're like freaking out. So I was like, okay. So I, I just didn't have to. I was just like, whatever. Watching it yourself is. But yeah, now you're in heaven. You love watching day. yourself. So now I'm in heaven. You're like, this himself. is the best. Dude. Yeah. Yeah. Show my wife. Watch, I'll, be, I'll walk in a room and he's like, <laughs> I'm like, like what do you want? What meme is that? Let me see that. Is it's, <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's me? It's a me, yeah. dude. It's yeah, it's weird. It's been a weird shift that happened internally. Where I'm just like, I'll catch myself doing stuff. I'm like, yeah, that kind of looks stupid. And I go, sure, you'll get it next time, brother. Don't worry about it. Look what at that thing. That's fuck? great. <laughs> it's crazy. Oh, that's so nice. It's weird. Dude. Yeah, that's nice. That's, that's a weird. really nice thing. <laughs> it's weird, guys. Stop buying boring generic nicotine pouches. You're not a boring and generic person. You deserve better. Lucy Breaker pouches are the way to go. They have a liquid flavor capsule inside that fucking bursts in your mouth and moistens the pouch. Oh, give oh. you a wave of awesome flavor. Matt, have you ever given a wave of awesome flavor to someone's mouth? I have. I don't know about awesome flavor, but uh... <laughs> you can choose your nicotine strength and select your flavor of the ultimate in customization with awesome options like apple, apple ice, mango and espresso. There's no wrong pick. There's not one wrong pick in there. Uh, me personally, I'm a big mango head. You know that about me, dude. I know that. Those citrusy I got very citrusy, flavors. fruity tastes. I'm more of a mint guy myself. Yeah. Cool. I mint. can see that. You're cool as ice. I mean, I'll, I'll take, you know, <laughs> excuse me. I'll take a uh, take mango, a fruit blast flavor. to the fucking mouth. I'll take a fruit blast to the mouth any day. Uh, <laughs> if you're a gum kind of guy, Lucy has you covered. Pick your flavor, pick your strength, and get your nicotine fix whenever, wherever you want. You know where I like it is on the aeroplane. When mm. I'm on an aeroplane and I'm not allowed to chew tobacco, I like to enjoy Lucy. Visit Lucy, L-U-C-Y dot C-O and use promo code DRENCH to get 20% off your first order. Shipping is always free. That's L-U-C-Y dot C-O, promo code DRENCH to receive 20% off and always free shipping. Glad I said that twice. Here comes the fine print. Lucy products are only for adults of legal age and every other product. Every product's fucking legal. Or age verified. This product contains nicotine. Nicotine's addictive. Let's get back to the show. Man, Tom Segura is a cool cat. The man. Uh, life is full of decisions. What job to take, where to live, who to spend your time with. Whether you're dealing with decisions about your career, relationships, or anything else, therapy helps you stay connected to what you really want while you navigate life. When you're in tune with who you are and what your goals are, making decisions becomes so much easier. BetterHelp's mm. online therapy is an amazing way to get started. It's totally online, so you can work around your schedule and do therapy whenever and wherever it's convenient for you. If that means doing therapy on the go, 
that's awesome. If you're tur- if you're tuning in from under the covers on a hard day, that's fine too. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> no, <I'm laughs> yeah, you farted. <laughs> I'm such a dumbass. I didn't even catch it either. I just looked at it. <laughs> Yeah, just fuck, fill- fuck that ad. <laughs> oh my god, <laughs> therapy crazy. has been life changing for me. It's been very important. Just fill out a brief questionnaire to get matched with a licensed therapist. If for any reason you don't love the therapist you're given, you can switch at any time for free. You know what also is a nice no for, questions asked for a personal endorsement. It's perfect for the babe, dude. You know when your your wife or your girlfriend's giving you bullshit, talking about her feelings and shit. Yep. You go, babe. Here's a Zoom call with a guy that's gonna fucking swallow that horse shit that you're <laughs> he's designed perfectly to swallow all your stupid shit you're saying <laughs> and spit it back to you like you think you're in control you're not no one's in control of their lives. <laughs> anybody that pretends to be in control of their lives is fucking lying dude life sucks but i could use better help maybe i should get true, on there true. i can be in complete control of my feelings and thoughts <laughs> <laughs> to be fair yeah and i, I think they are a completely reformed company because they did yes. get in trouble for selling people's <laughs> information but We've all made mistakes. That's why we need therapy. That's dude. why therapy's good. I'd sell information if I had any fucking information. I'd sell it right I'd now. Sell it. I'd sell it all the time. Dude, are you a closer? <laughs> are you a fucking closer or not, dude? Better helps a bunch of closers, dude. <laughs> but it is good. You should talk to someone about your problems. Better help, bro. dude. We love you. Here's the thing. You should talk to someone about your problems. And even if, dude, if they sell your location for five cents to Mark Zuckerberg, who cares? Dude? Gives a fuck. Elon dude. They already know where you are anyway. Them, they might as well. What, better help's not allowed to cash in a little. That's what I'm saying. Everyone dude. else knows where you are already. You who gotta cares? listen to your fucking crap all the time. Like, you know, you know, did my job when, when my dad died, it was really <laughs> fucking hard for me. <laughs> Yeah, but shut seriously up. though, you should. You know, you. For, I swear to God, you should talk to someone about your problems. You probably have all kinds of weird biases you don't even know and subconscious hangups you can't even fucking think about. Just fill out a brief questionnaire and get matched with a licensed therapist. Oh, you already said that. You'd probably stop. They're Let not gonna, therapy be your map with BetterHelp. With, visit BetterHelp.com slash drench today to get 10% off your first month. That's BetterHelp, H-E-L-P dot com slash drench. Probably not doing that one again. <laughs> That's funny though. Yeah, fuck it. This summer, stop looking like fucking trash, you dumb idiot. You can't keep wearing these worn out college shirts and those promotional tees from the gym. It's time for an upgrade with True Classic. Everything they make is comfortable, breathable, and has an incredible fit. Their t shirts are designed to hug those biceps you've been working on, and they come in packs. So you'll have enough for every day of the week. If new shorts are on the shopping list, their quick dry active shorts are perfect for your workout or hit the bar in their chino <sighs> shorts that come in ton of color options. Uh, honestly, I do love True Classics. I'm wearing my True Classic shirt too. Dude. Flex I'm as hard as you can with the camera for as long as you can. <laughs> as long as you can, dude. <laughs> Pass out. True Classic is so sure you'll love what you buy that they have 100% free risk guarantee and easy returns. So if you're ready for an upgrade, if you're ready to upgrade the way you look in your wardrobe, shop now at trueclassictees.com. Ah! Trueclassictees.com and save 25% off with the code DRENCHED. That's trueclassictees.com. Oh. Code DRENCHED for 25% off your first order. Look oh. your best, feel your best, and be your best with True Classic. Oh, yeah, brothers. <laughs> <laughs> I ju- yeah, I judge my voice, my hands. Dude, you know, you know what? Just- know what I did? I stopped. I we I used to be in the grocery store and I would see people and I'd be like, "Look at this dumb fucking pussy, dumbass." And I stopped doing that. I just made an effort to stop doing that, and I got nicer to myself as a result. What? Totally didn't even go for it. Look at that. Dude, I used to be like, look at that lady's stupid head. And yeah. I'd be like, look at that fucking weirdo. And I started just being like trying to be nice in my head. That guy people. thinks he's better than me. <laughs> yeah, literally, it's that. Look at him. It's that. It's being fucking like that guy. Fucking yeah, he's homo. tall and probably has a bigger <laughs> dick than me. But like, yeah. I'm probably better SAT scores. Than that guy. <laughs> yeah, I, I cut a lot. Nobody of that out. in here knows I did a Netflix special. <laughs> <laughs> no one. In, that's why they're treating me so poorly. <laughs> it's not because I'm disheveled, <laughs> dude. Now I'm at the beach with my family right now. Now I'm real. This is another test, a mental test, dude. We're like, I'm there. I got kids. My wife wife and you'll see like just like college Shit kids bodies? with beautiful, oh, beautiful. women yeah, yeah. like tossing a football back and forth there's a part of me that's kind of like like throw, oh. me, throw me the ball guy <laughs> i have to be like dude that's over for you man yeah that's not, that's I, not- <laughs> I learned the hard way this week dude i learned a very dude, hard way there's that part yeah. of me that's like play is done for me yeah 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 i but did also give up my what game. he's saying though like what you're saying i have 
bit my tongue where like it'd be really fun to throw the ball right now uh, yeah like, you know what i mean like it's nothing to do with those it's chicks fun they're, they're, they're yeah, you learned the hard way too yeah. horse play is done dude horse play you learned the hardest oh, yeah. oh dude you learned yeah. one of the hardest ways i've ever yeah. seen someone learn yeah, yeah. <laughs> horse play years are over dude horse you can play. horse play a little i was doing a gator no dunk contest no. dude i was crazy here's the thing i fucking i've gone to do it again no yeah i know and i just well here's the thing you gotta learn to fly again i no, i i stopped I stopped. It's sky, dude. I, it like it was. They were, we were raising it again, and before it got to like, oh, this will be a challenge. I was like, what were you at? Like nine? Nine was the last one that I did. Yeah. Before that's I good. got, and then I, we raised it, and that's where I got hurt. No, this time when I Wait, went, you back, dunked on nine. I dunked on that's nine. Good. And I dunked and on nine at big two fifty. That's crazy. What? Yeah, yeah it was two fifty. That's crazy. And I also like when the when the surgeon. That's really fucking impressive. Yeah, that's awesome. <laughs> yeah, and I was forty two. Yeah. Like, I mean. So that was like, the, but the, the surgeon, he goes, I tried to dunk at the sky zone off a trampoline recently and just breaked on the rail. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Sorry. No, it's all good. It's I was like, I'll yam, one. I'll yam on this. I was like, oh, fuck, dude. No, I was so fired up. I think, but that surgeon, he goes, you know, I tore, so I had a double whammy because I tore this yeah. tendon. <sighs> and he goes, you know, most people, when they tear their tendon, they tear it at the connection point. So either the, like where it is on the patella or where it is here. He goes, yours tore in the middle. Boom. He goes, what you see like in 2% oh, man. of these things. And I go, so what? Well, he goes, it just takes a tremendous amount of force. So it makes sense because like, yeah, there's yeah, this yeah. 250 pound dude 250 pound jumping Duncan. as hard as he can. Yeah. Oh. And then it just like snapped in the middle. Yeah. Yeah. you like Zion. I look, I kind of look like him. <laughs> you like Zion, yeah. dude. Yeah. <laughs> How yeah, is that guy not broken? He's blowing out of yeah. shoes and shit, yeah. dude. <laughs> but he's like, he's like fucking. Yeah, yeah they traded him. He's going to explode. Yeah. Yeah. Damn. Where is he now? Didn't they trade him? If they trade, they just signed him. Oh, no, never mind. They, I, for, I thought he was. No. For some reason, I was thinking Memphis, which you would just be. just had that baby mama scandal. Yeah, the baby, no, mama, the baby mama scandal. Thing, was, yeah. Oh, no. Which was. She sold him out, right? Like she went on social media and was like, "I think yeah, he had I think she was like two an different fans girl." <laughs> what did you say? What was the like an OnlyFans girl and then another OnlyFans girl? Oh, oh. Ryan Mills, I believe. Who is this guy? Zion Williams. He's a basketball player. Is he the guy who just got drafted, or is he? He's no, he got no. drafted. He was a freak. He played at Duke. He okay. was so. Freaky. He's a freak. Dude. He sounds familiar, yeah. but he's fat. Oh really? He keeps getting well every time because he's like not playing. Yeah, yeah, he'll just gain like eighty pounds. Jesus, but Christ. he's but he can fucking, jump out of the gym like he's a monster. Do you know what? what they gave us a tour at Cameron when I did? Yeah. I did a show at uh, in whatever yeah. Durham or whatever. Yeah. So they gave us a tour at Cameron, and which is fucking yeah. rad because uh, there's a bunch mm -hmm. of Duke haters. But I'm like, give me a tour of any. Yeah, I blew it. True. I said I, I would said no. Oh really? Yeah, I oh. just did Durham, and the, but I was like, my flight was close. Oh, it was so cool. I blew it. <clears throat> Fuck. So I was talking to the guy. <laughs> it was awesome. It was awesome. <laughs> Fuck. He gave me. He gave you me. Sure, the, it didn't suck. No, it's just the best. It's it's hot in there. It so cool. sucked. <laughs> it was. It was so rad. And the guy, one of the guys who gives us a tour, he's been there. Yeah. for like their whole dynasty right like this guy who's just mm -hmm. like been a part so we're you know there's all these like photos trophies everywhere and he's yeah. like talking about each player like this guy so i was like what's up like I'm talking about zion because there's a couple of pictures of him that look like they're fucking ai just fucking yeah like flying through the air and you're and he's six eight and he's like two six <laughs> Jesus Jesus and christ freshman in college and you're like jesus christ and he's like you know when we did the uh the vertical test you know, they take, you ever seen those for like, the, have them at the combine where it has like these little. Yeah, like, you jump straight up. Oh, you tap. You yeah. tap yeah, it yeah, it's and got then the these, thing moves. Oh, right? okay. So like, every, every inch is a little plastic. Yeah. And it shows which one you hit. Yeah. And when you go pop, it goes like that, right? So, and they go all the way to the top. So he goes and he does the vertical test and he hits the very top one. So the whole thing moves and they're like, what the fuck, right? Yeah. All the other players are like, so then they get, um, a 45 pound plate from the weight room and they put the vertical thing on that. Yeah. Right. So now yeah. it's, it's like whatever yeah, yeah. this much higher top one. So they take a second plate. So now it's two 45 pound plates on top hits the top one. They go, that's it. What's his vert. What is his vertical jump? I mean, when he's sub 300, Oh, because he's it's like so yeah. tall too. Yeah. But still a guy that that's big crazy. doing that. I mean, but no, if you're that tall also that, 
kind of hurts your vert. True, it yeah. It starts where your hands straight in the air. He's, you but know he's, what I mean? Nice. That's where you yeah, start yeah, measuring. Yeah. It's over forty. Oh, okay, so uh, yeah, you and then they measure. Yeah. That makes sense. It's over forty. But inches. yes, him being tall, that's which nuts. is start. Which is yeah, AI yeah, had like a forty something inch yeah. vert. He's got a forty five inch vert. That is fucking. That's crazy. Yeah, AI had a forty something vert. AI's has got to be insane. Yeah, Tommy, we were. Yeah, this is great. We were on the road. It was me, Naeem, and Tommy, and Tommy and Naeem were at the gym, and they. Tommy was doing box jumps. Who's this? Uh, my friend Tommy oh, Pope. Okay, and it was you. No. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. And we did. We were doing box jumps. Yeah, yeah. I, remember, I remember. But Tommy did a box jump onto a forty-four inch box, and they were like forty-four inch vert. No. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> and they came. They came to lunch with me, and they were like, "Tommy has a forty-four inch vertical leap." I was like. LeBron James has a 44 inch vertical leap. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Tommy did not have a 44 inch. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. He lifted his knees yeah, up. I Googled yeah, it. Yeah, I was like, top verts. Yeah. It was like, yeah. Vince Carter, 45. Yeah. I was like, yeah, you're pretty much Vince. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think you can tuck your knees here, Jesse. No, they tucked their knees <laughs> yeah. and jumped up. It's like, yeah. How about Morant? What is his vertical? It's got it. Morant's vertical is It looks be so stupid. Insane. It doesn't look real, actually, when he jumps. Have you ever seen that guy jump? No. It, it looks it actually it's looks comical. cartoonish it's, it's funny. crazy yeah it when people cartoonish. float like that it's kind of like funny. bizarre he's got 44 so him and Tommy and Tommy so and John him Moran. and me are like right there <laughs> that's fucking uh, the Zion I was following Zion when he was in high school because it was all of his uh, highlights were everywhere he was from South Carolina and so he was just playing against white dudes that are 5'5". Five, five. Yeah. 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 And he's, it's the funniest it's mixtape. Hilarious. It's the funniest mixtape you've ever seen. He's going through the leg dunks on kids. <laughs> and there's that one kid that's like, there's that famous kid. Oh, a like, kid who's like talking shit to him, yeah, trying yeah. to D him up. Yeah, he gets yeah. fucking dunked on. Yeah. And, it's, and the kid's pants. head is like up to yeah. his tit. Yeah. <laughs> and, like, and you see him going like this to people. Like Zion's like, what's going on? That was uh, me. That was me yeah. in pool basketball. Yeah, that was right. <laughs> For real. I was like, let's go. Nothing you guys can do. I'm never going to tap. <laughs> I tapped, I tapped, I tapped, I tapped. Help. It's just in fun anymore. This is how Thank old God I am. Michael when I, Chandler. When I was in high Seriously. school, before he, he transferred to that, there's this crazy like, prep school in Carolina that's for, I think it's Oak Hill Academy. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's yeah. Uh, Oak Hill. I think that was... Carmelo, yeah. yeah. But so Vince went there or one of the one to one yeah. like that, but not at he started in Daytona Beach. And when I was in high school in Florida, yeah, I was not that far from Daytona. So like when you would watch local news, they would yeah. be like local freshman Vincent Carter. And then they would show him <laughs> do like reverse fucking double pump Jesus shit Christ. on people. And you're like, oh, my God, yeah, this, this is so stupid. And then he transferred up to that school. But it was yeah, we had Kobe in our area. Like Kobe. My, my really? My cousin yeah. had to play against Kobe in a summer league and was just like, yeah, he's like, dude, my cousin was really good, too. And he was just like, dude, it was just he's a freak. And it, you just felt like crazy. Yeah. I remember seeing a kid in high school like we went to the gym. And we uh, like the high school gym. And at, this was like at this big high school in Milwaukee suburbs. You know, we all played high school. We all played basketball in middle school. Yeah. So we're like, let's just go to the the gym here. And this kid does the uh, the cup. He cups the ball here. Yeah. Uh. And then he goes like that and dunks. We were like, what the fuck? Oh, we have to go home. Like, yeah, we're not playing basketball we're on at all. Yeah. yeah the ketamine just kicked in. Yeah. <laughs> I have to go home. I'm going to dissociate I'm gonna go now. sit. Yeah. Give me a blanket. Let me lay down for 45 minutes till these guys leave. I didn't know you got stuck on the cat. Jeez. I got stuck. I was in a K hole, dude. You it was were. the most embarrassing shit possible. After getting beat up all day, <laughs> I took it to the next you level. You processed, though. You I processed. took it to the next level, dude. You processed the fucking They gave me pizza. Hut. They were like, you need something to eat. And I was just. I was like, this is the best pizza I've ever had. They're like, this is disgusting. <laughs> it's disgusting shit. I was like, it's so good. It's so good, dude. <laughs> saved your life. It did. Pizza, pizza Hut saved your pizza life. brought me back. It grounded your body. Your spirit body needed to be grounded with like fat and grease Dudes, just back. <laughs> you're <laughs> coming down from cat sobering up and just being like, what a fucking embarrassment. <laughs> Why would I do drugs? I know I can't do drugs. I just did ayahuasca and uh, did you really? Yeah, the, well, that's, but the that's baked, nice. The baked, the chocolate, like the, they cook. So you don't have to go through the vomiting what? diarrhea. They they cook it down into these. Cho it doesn't taste good. Yeah, but yeah. it's way better than have like the authentic version. And I'm so fucking stupid that I everyone I've told to they're like, what are you fucking retarded? Like I ate it at night right before. I was like, I ate it before bed. 
I'm what? Like, it'll help me go to bed. <laughs> I was just like wanting to feel a buzz, and then I was just like, wait in bed. I was like, ah. <laughs> how like, strong just, like, was it? It was too strong. Wait, it you was, took just ayahuasca just on a whim? Yeah, like eleven o'clock at night. <laughs> I thought you were like with a shaman, like no, nah, nah, having nah. a guided. I, no, here's the thing: the shaman gave it, sent it to me Dude, with instructions. I didn't read them. <laughs> yeah, I didn't yeah. look. I read them the next day and they were like, go into this with intention and like, you know, yeah. I just ate it and I was just in bed like, what the fuck? I need to, I shouldn't be on tour this much. Like, I was just like, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> like it was fucking, it was yeah, you're on like DMT basically oh, for, yeah, and forever. I look over at the clock and it's like four and I'm like, oh, like I'm yeah. not going to sleep at all tonight. Oh yeah. my God. That's like insane. Yeah, it was experience. stupid. Yeah. How Dude, long did it last? Ayahuasca chocolates now? I think I went to, I went to, bed around 6 a.m you know and i slept like two hours and then got but i mean i was whacked that changed day. guy was fucked up yeah <laughs> and then everybody was like why would you why and i yeah. was like i just got it in my head because i'd had these like edibles that were like <laughs> 10 milk, 10 milk edibles. Edibles. Yeah, yeah. and i was like i'll eat one of these yeah, whatever and go to and i was out i was like i'll just eat the ayahuasca <laughs> <laughs> so stupid yeah i was so fucking out of my mind i have that molly in my room that someone who isn't me gave yeah, me yeah yeah and they're just burning a hole in my pocket yeah. and i just look at them every night i'm like i should just hang out yeah. and take molly yeah. i'm so afraid to do it really <laughs> yeah i've done it before and it's great but just doing it on like a basically a school night yeah yeah that's insane true. dude yeah. i would just sit here and play a video game and it's coming though. Yeah, I do get those scared. Go bad? I, I do get scared. When do those go bad? Kick, I don't think so. No, it's just in like a crystalline form. It yeah. should last forever. I get scared when things kick in on me. I'm like, oh fuck, here it comes. <laughs> yeah, it's like I. That sounds terrifying. Yeah. Ayahuasca, when you weren't obviously you weren't quite sure of what it was going to do. I well, well, here's the thing, and I had a guided experience before. Okay, where like that yeah. one was cool with like the shaman and and that was you know a, a whole thing where it was fucking a whole day of that yeah um but they were like watching you and you know so making, you knew what you're getting into then <laughs> i just i just got it was just like when your brain goes yeah, yeah, it'll yeah, be yeah, fine. yeah, yeah. just being stupid yeah, it was just yeah. i've done that with edibles where i just like in, i'll like impulsively be like and gobble them up and then like have to go to like a kid's party and i'm yeah, like, and you're like what? oh why did i do that i feel yeah. like kicking yeah. like, i didn't even know i ate yeah. that. yeah or you're, you just tell yourself it won't affect me like that <laughs> like it does normally yeah. I'm in a different be, place now. I think yeah. I'll just flow with it. Matt There's used like, to make edibles. We yeah. would, as a, he would test them out on me sometimes. Yeah, and uh, yeah, really? I would forget. I would, I would forget. Like, I ate commercially. Them. I'd make like thousands of them. Yeah, yeah. And he wasn't. The dosage wasn't precise in Evenly the early split. stages. Nah. Nah, it's like coconut oil. So like the, the water skizzlers, and the fat. Dude. Will, the skizzlers were the skizzlers nice. Will knock you out. Yeah, I almost blew our kitchen up. I was making like an <laughs> yeah. Everclear tincture, and I was just boiling it on the stove on a gas stove like an idiot. Ever so lightly, and it just like, <laughs> like Jane, Jane, Jane. I, was, I was playing Xbox I was for Shane. I was just sitting there on like a folding chair in front of a shitty TV, a giant flame. Matt, Matt's panic skills are out of control, dude. The fire starts. He's like, I, I, run, I, I run in circles when I panic. If I'm panicking, I just run in a circle like an animal. It's bizarre. He saw me. I cut my finger. It was the same thing. I was yeah. squirting blood out of my finger, and I just ran in a circle, just going. Ah! And he's like, "Dude, dude, you got to go to the hospital." Yeah. Like, okay, take me, please. I do not. Yeah, I freak. Yeah, yeah. That's yeah. But yeah, I'm I'm off the edibles right now. I'm I've been being good, it easy on them. Yeah. yeah, I was picking out for decades. What's your like? So is is your are you like a roll of joint guy? Or are you? Yeah, yeah, I can smoking weed. I can smoke it. And I'm like, you're fine. Yeah, if I eat it, I get fucking. Whacked. I can't. I can't even tell when you're high. Yeah, if I like, smoke. not really. I can no. tell when you're fucking very high. Yeah, yeah. But if you're like a little high, I have no. No, it's so I can it's smoke not like weed. Lamizi, Lamizi, you can see it. Yeah, true. <laughs> like right now, I can see his eyes. He's not high. I'm not high right yeah. now. Yeah. yeah. So I'm straight and narrow. Yeah. <laughs> Shut no, down. He's high. He just comes in. I'm a very <laughs> obvious tell, I think. Yeah. 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 <laughs> I can't hide it at all. Wait, so what was the bedtime ayahuasca experience like? It was just you. The Yeah, what happened? The, just the, the, see anything? No. Well, here's the thing is like at first when it comes when it first comes on, it does feel like an edible is hitting you because it's just kind of starting. Mm -hmm. So like in other words, like you go, oh, OK, I feel I feel a little buzz starts a little bit of a body high. You put your nightcap on. You're like, you're like, like <laughs> good. I'm like, this is going to be nice. I'm just going to fall asleep now. You know? <laughs> and then your brain's like, 
here's things that you shelve. <laughs> oh. like, like, and then, Ooh. but here's the thing. And then you start to feel it. Laying in bed, that happens anyway. Yeah, that's true. But, but you see is, them it's, probably. It's oh magnified. My God. It's magnified. But also on top of that, a lot of physical, like your whole body starts, you know, vibrating. And, yes. and so you're just kind of like, oh shit. And then the, the thoughts just kind of, grow and, and it was it wasn't panic it's not like mm-hmm. you know how like you can get paranoid on like a really strong it's not like oh, yeah. that but you just kind of start ruminating and thinking about things and, and there's no way to switch it off yeah. like but also in a, in a way it's kind of nice because hours go by and you're not like i wish this would end you're just kind of like lost in your thoughts and whatever Holy you're thinking fuck. about but you're you're physically like i remember at one point i was like oh i can't get up right now like i'm too high to stand up yeah you know and I'm just and I look over and it's like three and I was like, oh, I'm just going to I think I, I think I need to pee. I, I, I'm just going to piss. I'm just going to piss in this bed. Yeah. I'm piss my pants. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I pissed in the bed. Nice. Yeah. It's good. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Someone will clean it up. Piss in the bed is a nice feeling. I pissed one time in, a, in the yeah. bed when I was 17. Did you really? I, I, you know, it hadn't happened since like childhood. And I remember waking up. And being like, coming from like a vivid dream where I pissed in the yeah, dream. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I was like, you've got to be fucking shitting me. I couldn't believe it. And I was so mortified that I just flipped the mattress over. Like I- Can't move. I it is embarrassing. Took the sheets off, flipped the mattress, and that was it. If Dude. I piss, I'm, I'm obviously, I'm just shit-faced. Yeah, yeah. Uh, haven't done it in a while. Praise Allah. But, yeah. uh, but you, when you go to like the beach or something, it's fun to just piss your pants. Before you get in the water. Oh, yeah. yeah. You know what I mean? It's awesome. Yeah. It's a great feeling. Yeah, piss piss your pants is a good feeling. It is nice. You nice. piss your pants. Didn't you just piss your pants as a fucking experiment the other day? <laughs> that was a long time ago. <laughs> I, it was an experiment. I was drunk and I had to drop a bike off and it was warm. It was nice. Oh, yes. you did it recently? Yeah, like two months ago. I thought you were talking about during your mental breakdown. <laughs> you were you just like. Yourself. Yeah. I think that was it. You just oh, standing yeah. outside and you're just like, I'm going to piss right here. No, wait, you pissed twice? What was it? <laughs> he did it one time at a low point in his life. He had a the psychotic break. The low point break. was at Walmart, right? Yeah, yeah that was at Walmart. Walmart. You were standing Walmart. at Walmart? Yeah, I was working and I wanted to see if anybody would know and I just pissed. Nobody knew. I you walked out. I Jesus walked out right Christ. <laughs> and then you're just standing in a pool of piss? No, it was just... It no, just, he trailed it. It ruined probably, my pants. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. It ruined my pants. <laughs> oh, so you soaked your pants <laughs> and stopped. Yeah, yeah. Puddle. yeah, I soaked my pants. It didn't make it... It didn't puddle. It didn't puddle. Okay. Did you just no say, puddles. I quit? <laughs> Did you... Do, well, you were working and you decided to piss I your pants? I wasn't working at Walmart. I was doing like Aramark, like the snacks, handing out snacks and stuff. I was like, you were handing out snacks and you just stood there and pissed yourself? Not, not the <laughs> snack thing. <laughs> 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 my shift was over and i was like all right okay i can't walk home i just yeah, I'm blown up steam. yeah he's fucked up <laughs> yeah you decided to pee yourself before the <laughs> walk so home crazy, yeah. Yeah. you're reality <laughs> testing you were deep in inception no i was that's mad. your spinning top just yeah. Yeah. this is a way crazier story than any of this drug shit we're talking about like, <laughs> that's so weird you're just standing in walmart pissing <laughs> What was the yeah, latest piss? The latest one, I was you drunk. You promised me you'd never do it again. I, I'm not. I was drunk and I, I had you to drop swore. off a city bike. <laughs> I had to drop you off a city bike. City bike. <laughs> I dropped off the city bike and then I, I had to go home, but it needed me to take a picture of the city bike. So I had to walk back to the city bike and I filled up with piss so quickly. And I took a picture and I had to make a choice. It was like either piss my pants or like, Pull your pants down and piss in yeah, front of the school, the... though. It was a kid's uh, school. A kid's oh, school, not an adult yeah. school. Yeah. Well, what time was it? It's it's a it was midnight. <laughs> yeah, you can piss. Yeah, but you get the pedo charge if they can. I mean, uh, yeah, against hours. Yeah, you did the right thing. <laughs> Dude, there's no way. You pissed your pants for the kids. Yeah. So wait, did you just you just stood there and pissed? Like, I did just stand here. And piss. <laughs> did you just let a little bit of pressure off? But that one had a pool. No, I. I full pissed. No, oh, it, was, it, was, it, was, it, it must like, have been a huge pit. If you were it drunk, went, it went in my socks. It was in my <laughs> shoes. What shoes are you wearing? Uh, Definitely not these, those. Not these. Not these. <laughs> those are the only shoes you no, have. I got different shoes, dude. I got different shoes. <laughs> you lying, dude. Those I'm not lying, shoes. dude. It was a different pair of Pumas, I swear. <laughs> it was a different pair of Pumas. <laughs> what are your piss Pumas? I don't believe. I don't believe that pissing in front of a school thing. No, well, those cops would let you go. Yeah. If you get caught with that, they're fucking, you were doing something. Yeah, that's true. And then you're like, no, nah, I was just taking a pit. It's like, no. Nah, yeah, that's, you that's a fair point, actually. You were doing something else. Or you just thought, like, or if you're like really talking shit to a cop about it, that's, that's yeah. how they get you. 
Yeah, true. Yeah. If you're hammered, you're like, what are you going to fucking do, yeah. pussy? <laughs> well, you're a pedophile now. Yeah. So. <laughs> nice badge, pig. <laughs> you dumbass. <laughs> now you're a pedo. Now you got to go door to door. Yeah, so oh. many people leave that out. Though. They leave out, like, they're, like one of my friends always talks. I've been with yeah. him. Talk, and I'm like, what are you doing? He's like, fucking cops are dicks. I'm like, that you you were a dick. Yeah. You yeah. always start shit to that these That Luis guys. Gomez story is... He did that to a cop. He did. Oh, he was picking so- up. He was picking up uh, his sister from the airport with a new dog. They, his sister had to fly to pick up a dog, a uh-huh. puppy that he was getting the kids. So he's in the car in the waiting line at the airport with the kids, and a cop comes up and is like, "You got to move. You got to. You got to keep it moving. You can't just park here." And he was like, "Fuck you." Write me like a he ticket. just was yeah. like, write me a ticket, dude. I'll pay the ticket. I don't give a shit. I'm sitting right here. And the guy went back and ran his plates and he had a warrant. <laughs> and he got the car and bound it. Really? On the spot. On the spot. So he had to stand there with a new puppy and his crying kids. <laughs> they took his car. <laughs> but they didn't take him? No, they just took his car and were wow. like, yeah, pretty oh. funny. They live yeah. stopped him. Yeah. Lewis is the best. Yeah, I love now that everyone hates cops. I love cops now. Obviously, I was excited to get pulled over. To get pulled. I never yeah. had a. My wife was a cop for a while. We're big, we're big. She was, yeah, yeah. briefly. And we're blue uh, lives, dude. Now I love. Yeah. Now I love cops. It's, it's funny real. when I met a lot of them. So now, like, I've talked to them. I like when they when they pull you over. It's it's fun to chat them up. Like, yeah. bro, just I can't believe what you do is crazy, man. And they'd let you right off. <laughs> you got that haircut go. too now. I got the cop cut. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You got remember it. when I got pulled over? I got pulled over by cops leaving our billies. And they thought I was undercover. Oh, yeah. yeah. The cops did? The cops thought I was an undercover cop. So they were like, pull over. We got to chat. I, I look like a cop that much. They pulled me over. And I was like, what the fuck did I do wrong? You, you were they probably dressed up. like a kid who went to high school to buy drugs. Yeah. So. <laughs> For real. <laughs> they pulled me over. And the guy goes, 369. And I was like, damn thing's fine. I thought he was, I swear to God. I thought he, I thought he said a yin yang twin lyric. <laughs> He goes, 369? Damn thing's fine? They were like, no. We thought you were another cop. <laughs> You're like, these cops are doing riddles? Yeah. Like, yeah. Damn thing's fine? Damn yeah. thing's fine. <laughs> that is so fucking <laughs> I always had cop face and cop hair. Yeah, like, we got we look yeah. like three cops. Dude. Yeah, we do. Yeah, it's pretty sick. <laughs> it's actually, it's cops. kind of tight, dude. Yeah. Man, get on the fucking ground. <laughs> yeah, I Gardini, at a, what are you doing with him? You shouldn't be. Yeah, in this what are you two doing together? <laughs> I worked at a restaurant where they uh, on Sunset, and Sunset has this part that's a track. So there's always hoes and pimps walking around, and they. Uh, I'm like 22, yeah. so I have like short, short hair. And just like, I don't know, this fucking face. Yeah. And they, some of them would order because they'd order like lemonade and sandwiches. And I would go, here you go. And they go, thanks, officer. And I go, <laughs> and they just turn around. And walk you were a away. little bigger back then. <laughs> Actually, at that age, oh, I was, weren't? no, I wasn't big yet. Uh, but they were just like, the bigger you get the, with a cop face. Yeah, oh, yeah. They, then they go, yeah. triples. They're like, I've oh, this is a seasoned head. veteran. Yeah. 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 You yeah, don't no. look like you've been sitting in a patrol car. No, I have a, co- I have a big I got, cop. I got a big patrol car body. I got. I'm class 487, dude. I'm new recruit. Yeah, dude. Damn thing's fine. 369? 369. Damn shorty's fine. Is that what you guys mean? Is that what you, you guys just wanted to hear me say some yin yang shit <laughs> back to you? You pulled me over to ask yeah. me a rap lyric? <laughs> fucking ridiculous. Yeah, it was. Who are the. I know you're a big, you're a big history guy, right? Oh, yeah. So what are the. What are, that's I mean, Custer and that's Ulysses S. Grant. That's Grant? Yeah. That's You've been Grant. to Grant's farm? No. I've been there. Really? It's cool. I haven't yeah. even been to his tomb and it's right here. What? Yeah, he's in, in New, New York. York. He's buried in New York. Yeah, Grace yeah, Farms man. Wild in, really? in Missouri. Yeah, it's impressive. I'd like to go. What happened while you were there? Tell us about it. Um, so I was dating uh, somebody in the Anheuser Busch family, and they own that property. What they own Grant's. What Farm. was his name? His name was uh, his name was Philip <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Philip yeah, Anheuser yeah, Busch. Yeah, yeah. yeah so. Uh, Lots of beer and lots of gay shit went down. Yeah, yeah. Fuck yeah, dude. I fucked so many guys there. What a dream. Yeah. No, they had like a, like you, so they have like his actual, like you see where he yeah. was born, I think on that farm. And uh, so they have that property and then it's just like, it's also, it's, it's only something that could, somebody could have that they built and established at like the turn of the century yeah. because it's like 
in St. Louis. Oh, you know wow. what I mean? Like, it's not like, oh, go out. It's like, it's right there. Oh. I feel like it's hundreds of acres. Yeah. And, you know, the Bush people made it like, there's like, they, they loved animals or, 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 oh, nice. or uh, August did. So there's like, you know, it's like a zoo, like a yeah. private zoo. And then, um, sick. and then it's just like beautiful, like, you know, streams and you feel like you must be out in the country. Yeah, and you're yeah, really yeah. not, you know? No. Yeah. That's nice. That was how uh, Mount Vernon was. Really? They have like they have all the original animals, which is yeah. pretty sick. Do they really? Yeah, they're like these are the cows they had from the. But does damn. this like he mean something to you or like? No, I just like him. You yeah. just like him. Yeah, I'm a fan. You're a fan. Yeah. Do you fan? I just got into the World War II uh, series. Ken, the Ken Burns? No, I don't know if it's his or not, but it's so good on Netflix. Oh, uh, in HD or in color? The one or? in color, yeah. yeah, yeah it's yeah. so good. That's awesome. I was ripping through that thing. Yeah, World like, War II is yeah. Yeah. fucking cool. That's, a, that's my favorite World my War. My wife was like, yeah. you're really an official dad now. Yeah, you're like it. sitting at night Second, just watching like, yeah. yep. World War II shit. I mean, there's nothing else to watch. This is how it happens. Yeah, you yeah. try to watch something, you're like, this is... Although I watched, I watched the new Alone series. What's that? Where they go out in the woods and it's oh. 10 people in the woods and see who can yeah, stay longer. Oh, yeah, yeah makes you want to makes you want to build a shelter dude. the crazy yeah. thing about like a good world war ii or any war dog <laughs> they're nice i'm just saying <laughs> <laughs> the Hold on, you get, no. there was a guy on there that was such a cocksucker on where on alone he's sitting yeah. there he's like i'm not roughing it you're roughing it sitting there on the couch doing nothing i'm out here challenging myself the whole time he's doing all this shit oh uh, his bitch ass had to go home dude i was sitting on the couch just like hey welcome, he to, the, to, the welcome to the couch dickhead <laughs> <laughs> He was talking to the viewer. He was yeah. talking shit to the viewer. Uh, yeah, like, he was talking the shit camera? the whole time. He was like, I got it. He fuck? was doing all that fucking wellness shit. He was like releasing endorphins out here in the wild. All this. And so, why, so why did he tap? Like, what a bitch. Just like a survival shit, though. Yeah. What tapped him? Uh, he ran out of food. They all run out of food. Yeah, true. Yeah. He just starved. I was sitting there eating Triscuits. Having a good time. I was like, this Wait, so is who, nice. Like, who doesn't run out? Because the winner, obviously. Like, how do they not There's run one out? Guy, one guy snagged the fucking moose early what yeah a moose a moose one How? guy one guy stabbed the yak to death what, what? Yeah, he fights a yak on camera on camera? A gopro like running like <laughs> stabbing it oh. fucking yak i would really? eventually suck yes. that guy's dick in the woods and be like bro we're together How How did, yeah <laughs> i'd find i would yeah i'd be like dude take me you start, you start slow by just like touching his leg yeah. like, what the fuck are you You'd doing a sweet boy yeah i've never had moose before guy guy got a moose and then he had to fight off wolverines what? He killed a wolverine with a hatchet in the what middle the of the fuck? night. What the fuck? Yeah, because the wolverines Wait, were where, getting all his Where meat. is this on? Uh, like northern Canada. No, but what, where do you see it? Like, uh, it's on Netflix. There's a new it? season on Netflix. It's on Damn. Netflix. Yeah. This season on Netflix, they're just it, they're nothing too exciting. They're just killing beavers. Pretty tight. But yeah. on this one, a dude killed a yak. A guy, that one season, yeah, a guy kills a yak where the yak's like wounded and he has to run and like stab it and keep running. And then do they actually like the guy, they, a guy is literally sitting in his cabin in the middle of the night and he hears the Wolverines who have been getting all his things. And he's like, these motherfuckers, you see him grab a hatchet and go out into the dark and kill a Wolverine. Jesus, with man. a hatchet. He's like, I got it. And then he just lays back down. It's like, good God. And when these, when he, when like, when the guy kills the moose, do they dress it and like, prepare, like yeah, yeah, yeah. And then he knows he cooks it over a fire. It has, and, yeah. God, and he's like, I got to do it fast. It's too much meat for me to yeah, yeah make jerky or something. Yeah. It's cool. They're all really good at it. All right. Something, yeah. something new to check it's, out. It's good. Yeah. It's good. This season, <laughs> it's fine. Yeah, yeah, you're not thrilled. I wasn't totally thrilled with it. Message, God, message damn. You got to fast forward through all their backstories, though. That's where they, they try to get you. Oh, right, right. You got to watch them. They're like, like, I oh, miss my skip, wife skip and family. The, yeah, and yeah, yeah. 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 guys being a gym teacher. Yeah. Like, yeah. yeah. I want to see you kill an animal. Yeah. Uh, hands. I want to see you starve to death and die. <laughs> so I don't have to yeah. think about my life before I go to bed. <laughs> yeah. It makes you hungry. The show makes you True. so hungry. You're yeah, sitting yeah. there like, yeah, I should eat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. They kill animals. They cry when they kill the animal. They're like, I love the squirrel. Thank you, squirrel. <laughs> yeah. They just munch yeah. squirrels the squirrel whole spirit. fucking time. You have to honor it. <laughs> yeah, they honor yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah. I've killed a squirrel. Yeah, you killed a squirrel? Yeah. Yeah, we were shooting him with bad. We would shoot him with BB. Pal, that's what shit. I did. Yeah. Yeah. It's pretty fun though when you hit them. What sucked is when they, they're bad. down, but you're still are still alive. And yeah. You're like, Fuck, man. Yeah. yeah. When you maim them, just die. Yeah. Just hurt them. Yeah. Anyway. Yeah. You did, you've done horrific things. You dropped a rock on a bird. Yeah. You caught the bird slipping. Then yeah. that's a bird fault. <laughs> did you get two birds. I got. One. <laughs> <laughs> Squished a frog. Oh, He's done yeah. all types of shit. 
It was in a bag already, so I just squeezed it. He squeezed a frog once. <laughs> <laughs> Why was it in a bag? He was just running. So, because a kid at camp caught it and was trying to keep it. And he, his retarded ass walked up and was just... <laughs> left it, left the bag. <laughs> the kid came back to his frog. His frog exploded in the bag. That yeah. probably haunts that kid. He's probably like, so, oh, you can't keep frogs in bags. So probably tells people, he's like, if you catch a frog, don't put it in a bag. They fucking explode. <laughs> so far, we have like killing animals for fun and pissing, pissing in stores. Uh, <laughs> that's crazy, dude. No, yeah. he's for real. Like, you know, that's fucked up, right? Yeah. Yeah. I killed a lot of animals when I was little, bro. It's yeah, not a big of a deal. Are you from here? Uh, no, I'm from Detroit. You're from Detroit. Okay. Is that water? <laughs> yeah. I like the way you answer questions. Like, you're never sure. Yeah. yeah. Um, Where no. are you from? No, I'm f- uh, from Detroit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, you're remembering what witness protection told you to say. Right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 Detroit, right? Michigan? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Oh man, I'm from the Detroit Lions. <laughs> <laughs> nice, yes. I think we've done it. Yeah, I think that's a podcast. That's a good podcast, man. Yeah, I that's think great. that's one. Thanks for doing that. that was uh, yeah, thanks for thanks for doing it, man. Absolutely. Thank really you guys for having it. me, man. Yeah, special check, check sledgehammer. Special. Sledgehammer on Netflix. Check it out. Then the go music, watch alone. Wonderful music. Can I tell you something, man? Yeah, I fucking. I had that thing where they go, do you want to do stock? Because I've done that where they're like, you want music to play? And they give you some stock shit. Or they're like, or do you want to write checks yeah. for like big songs? And I was like, checks. let's just fucking do it. Was like, Sledgehammer, did you walk out to that song on tour the no, whole time? Never. No. Never. You got <laughs> Peter Gabriel Sledgehammer? Yeah. Yeah. And then I got, damn. I got Gangstar. Now your mind yeah, to close. Yeah, at the yeah. end. That's a nice move. Yeah. So that's two Two car, I bought two cars to oh, fucking yeah. <laughs> have music on them. Yeah. Good. But here's the thing. I actually feel like. It's one of those things where you go, it adds value to the whole experience. Like, you know, like you hear those songs and you're like, fuck yeah. 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 It's going to go to taxes anyway. So it's it's true. (laughs) Give it to someone else. Go. Yeah. Give it it to Peter Peter Gabriel. Gabriel. (laughs) Yeah. He did. Peter Gabriel was like, great. Now I got to pay the fucking (laughs) (laughs) taxes. Now I'm paying the government. (laughs) (laughs) All right. Go check out Sledgehammer. Thank you. It's on Netflix. 